everyone it is coming up to october the 31st which a lot of you know is halloween and i wanted to talk today about the history of halloween halloween is actually um, an old celtic festival that the celts used to celebrate on october 31st so they used to have this festival called Samhain, which is irish for end of summer and that time of year was where the summer was ending they believed that the sun, which it does, starts to go underground and the winter is coming. So at this time of year, the Celts used to celebrate um, the new year on November the 1st. Um, so October the 31st was that time where it was the end of one year and the beginning of the new year. But there was like this space in between the end and of the year and the new year where it was like time stood still. And because of that, they believed on October the 31st that the veil between the physical world and the spiritual world was lifted and it became blurry. So it was easy for spirits to integrate and be seen in the physical world. The Celts also honored their deceased relatives at this time and believed that they could communicate and invite back their relatives, their ancestors on this night. So whether you celebrate Halloween or not, being aware of the energy behind Halloween and the history and the rituals that were practiced back then, which is the energy, the true energy behind Halloween, is something you wanna be aware of if around this time of year, you have a sensitized, sensi sensitive awareness to the spirit world. You know, people dress up their houses and they put ghosts outside their houses. They're inviting those spirits to come to their house. And so if you have a lot of disruptions going on around this time of year, or you start to feel, you know, anxiety, stress, like any sort of disturbances in your emotional state, you might want to look at energetically what's going on what are you aware of is there more spirit activity going on are you aware of the spirit world being more in communication with you now that the veil is being lifted and um, and how can you communicate with that you know so i created this online call for halloween called Lif lifting the veil and talking to the spirits, getting to know the spirits that are trying to communicate with you at this time. So I'm going to cover in that call some of the history of Halloween and what was what were the traditions of Samhain and the Celtic tradition. It actually isn't just sourced in um, in in Celtic tradition. It apparently was around even before the Celts. So this may go back to like the times of when we had witches, you know, and witchcraft. There's a lot of witchcraft energy around it. There was a lot of rituals that they did at that time. Um, and we can, what we can do now in this modern day world is look at what was honored back then, what was celebrated, what were the traditions, what were the rituals, and see how we can receive them and apply them in this modern day world. Um, and that doesn't mean we have to do everything they did, you know, like th at that time, the Druids, um, which Druids were Celtic priests, they believed on Halloween, October the 31st, that you could predict futures. And they had a lot of rituals that went with that. Well, in our modern day world and with consciousness evolving all the time, we may, may not have to do all these rituals, but we can tap into these energies at this time and use the tools we have now, like questions, awareness, um, going into a med medita meditative state and asking and inquiring to find, is there something that we need to know that we can access about the future at this time? Um, so I'll cover that on our call on Halloween, which is Tuesday. Um, but I'll also cover clearing disruptive entities at that at this time any disruptive entities that are interfering in your world will walk through an exercise with that and also walk you through an exercise a meditative ex exercise with communicating with any of the spirits that are trying to get your attention maybe some of your ancestors some relatives it may be 
it may be some friends that are just trying to get your attention that are finding it easier to get through at this time because of the lines being blurry and the veil being lifted because that is the energy of this time of year so and then also we'll play with accessing some information if possible about any futures that we need to be aware of and these are all playing along and honoring the traditions of halloween the old rituals and traditions of halloween and then applying them in our modern day world so um I would like to honor like the rituals and our ancestors and what was done ever before us and at the same time make it practical for us in you know 2013 and um Halloween actually didn't become just about trick or treating and all that until the 20th century and it was only when Irish people moved to America and brought the Halloween tradition with them they brought in this tradition in America of trick or treating and then in the 20th century you know this whole thing of honoring ghosts and talking to spirits that was rejected and halloween just became this you know dress up party go out and get you know treats or whatever and we lost the history behind it we lost the traditions behind it so the energy is still there though you know so i would like to honor what the energy is behind halloween and access what we can with that so that we can actually have more ease at this time of the year. So you're welcome to join me. It's on Halloween. It's a it'll be about an hour and a half telecall. I'll provide the link below or above. Um it's called Lifting the Veil this Halloween. Alright, bye for now.